Welcome back to Good Game Reviews, guys. I'm here to talk about not a game or a movie, but I'm going to bring back the Pokemon trading card game. And boys and girls, I got these awesome boxes. The Deoxys V-Star promo box, which is really cool. And the Verizian Wireless promo box, which is pretty cool. But I'm excited because this was cheaper, too. It was $12.99 for four packs any promo so I've been kind of on a kick of collecting Pokemon trading cards again and it's been fun so I'm gonna unbox these for you guys and hopefully you enjoy it be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this alrighty guys I'm gonna quickly get into this Verizian box and show you guys the cards because I'm excited this has been a long time coming I haven't done any trading card stuff in a while. Even though I do collect the card game, I just don't really do videos about it much. So here you go guys. I'm gonna see how this video kind of goes over with the fans and the audience. Uh, here's the card. I can't even fully fit it in my frame, but there's the jumbo. And of course the promo cards of Verizon. Wow, that really flew out incredibly fast. So there you go. Everything's flying all over the place. It's a tornado of all kinds of stuff. But guys, let's get into it. This is the Verizian. Pretty cool card. I like grass cards. The ability, it seems pretty decent overall. The Keldeo card, which looks pretty nice. I, I really, I could go on a whole rant about how I miss old school Pokemon card hollows though, where they looked a whole lot better than what they currently do look like but I won't get into that but guys we have a variety of packs we have fusion strike which is kind of basic two lost origins which is awesome and astro radiance to top it off I'm gonna start with astro radiance and see how that goes I don't have a lot of cards from this set and like I said I really don't collect a ton of cards but I do I do support many card games, meaning that I love the Dragon Ball trading card game. Here's the code for you guys. I don't mind giving codes out all day. Um, as I was saying, I love the Dragon Ball card game. Really fun. I highly recommend that. Um, it's very addictive. So we got Quilava, Heavy Ball, Rufflet, Ponyta, Rowlet, Bronzer. Ashwat, ooh, <laughs> nice, I didn't expect that. Uh, Galarian Obstagoon, very, that's very cool. I don't remember that artwork, that's very cool, it's very miscut too. And a Leafeon non holo but solid artwork, that's pretty cool. So, moving on to the, I'll go ahead and do Lost Origins, the, the set everybody's trying to collect. And I really want to get the, alternate art Giratina that is definitely the chase card of the set it is incredibly epic artwork it's so beautiful so gorgeous here's the code I mean I have yet to pull anything crazy good like that honestly in my life of uh, collecting cards that I can recall uh, back in the Sun and Moon days I did get some nice gold rares like Solgaleo so, we got a Gift Energy of Phalanx, a Poliwag, Odish, a Growlithe, Lickitung, ooh, a Hoopa, a Hoopa Reverse Hollow, not bad, and a Basque Legion Hollow. Looks pretty good, actually. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I was, uh, speaking harshly about Hollows when they're actually looking pretty good nowadays. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what... Scarlet and Violet end up uh, looking like and how that trading card game turns out to be, you know. Um, I'm pretty excited. Really excited for that game, actually, overall. And guys, this gives me a lot of time to talk to you guys. So I'm hoping anybody that subscribes to Good Game Reviews gets to check this video out and just um, get to get to talk to the fans and get to communicate with you guys a little bit more than what I get to do in my 60 second videos, right? 
because those are so quick and so rushed kind of like they just go by so quick so guys we got a gastrodon reverse holo and a greedent chilling like a snorlax just with all his fruit all all around the place that's very nice i like I like to chill like that we got the fusion strike for last i would say the chase card in that set is gonna be what is it mew the mew alternate art right and then the gengar alternate art looks amazing very nice looking card overall a lot of people uh, don't seem to love fusion strike as much i would say it's not the chase set like a lot of these other sets are so code card four from the back sorry i'm not as quick as uh leonhard and some of these incredible tcg uh youtubers you know pokemon poketubers that's it so we got a graveler caravana a clamp pearl morpico skamore shelmet Corvanite reverse and come on oh nothing special just a non hollow so I'm gonna cut away and go to the next uh, next box the Deoxys box stay tuned hold on alrighty guys we got the Deoxys V Max V Star box and this looks pretty sick guys I love these promos I mean look at them they have the different forms for each V star, you know, that's really cool. I mean, cool concept that you don't really see in Pokemon. You got all three promos. I actually leave them in there for now, but they are looking very sharp, very nice, very cool cards. And of course you got the jumbo V star. Again, I can't get it in my frame just quite, but cool card. I like that attack damaging the bench Pokemon is very cool. I like that. And then you got the V Star marker. That's cool. Not every product has this, so you get a little keepsake out of it that you can use in your TCG battles. And then you got a nice little variety of uh, packs here. So you got two Lost Origin, Astral Radiance, and Brilliant Stars. I'm feeling like this could have something great. So I'm going to say Brilliant Stars for last. Maybe that'll have the oh so sought after alternate art Charizard, which looks so good, right? I want it so bad. Charizard is, of course, my boy, my Pokemon, my starter of choice. Um, let me know in the comments below what your starter of choice is from either Gen 1 or even uh, Sword and Shield. So we got the code for you guys always giving out codes for from the back let's see we got a still energy i don't do the guess the energy like leon hart because that would be taking his thing you know his cop that would be copyright right infringement i don't do that so we got an oddish we got a growlith lick a tongue slugma cresselia reverse and a buffalant wah, wah. what a dud no fun although cm buffalon does make me think of the tauros i'm hearing that there's a a new tauros regional form in the new game and of course uh by the time people see this this will be old news probably but i like that idea i like tauros i'm curious to see what uh what happens with that um just the other day they had the the weird frog thing in the new gym leader forgive me for not remembering the name of the frog but that Pokemon looks silly so maybe I choose not to remember it <laughs> so there you go <laughs> oh, making people mad so we got a shop it and do I see something what do we have guys <gasps> oh wow Oh man, that had my heart racing. We have a lady in the house. Nice. 
I haven't had a rainbow rare, guys, in so long. Like, gosh, so long. I'm not even used to seeing it, right? It's, it's kind of beautiful. <laughs> I don't think this card is like too crazy or too sought after, but man, that looks great. That really does. So nice box off like already. That's, that's pretty good. So we're doing the Astral Radiance next. Let's dig in. I'm trying to kind of hurry, but opening packs quickly is harder than you would think. It actually is. You gotta throw all this stuff around and uh, manage your time and sort these cards out without fumbling or, you know what I'm saying? It's tougher. I respect these Poketubers for doing it. And that's probably why I don't do it quite as much. So we got a Gutsy, Pickaxe, Scyther, Eevee, Heracross, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Hippopotas, and whew, Thievil, looking mischievous. But nothing special about that pack at all. That's a letdown. I was hoping to see more, uh, what are they called? Trainer Gallery cards. Those are pretty common, I feel like, or in my experience, they're more more obtainable so guys this is the final pack of the video i'm really hoping it's a good one a good card you know that's all i want <laughs> maybe a charizard would be nice right so we'll do four from the back i'm not even trying to look or see what this card is at all i want to be surprised like you guys so we got a Leaf Energy, Grottle, Berry, Clang, Starly, Shroomish, oh, I just skipped one, Spirit Tomb, there you go, Piplup, Turtwig, ah, no Trainer Gallery, come on, big bucks, oh, and a Torterra Hollow, eh, kind of let down, but that artwork is very nice, I have to say. So guys, thank you for liking the video and subscribing and stay tuned for the next one and next reviews guys that I have coming up. And also let me know what you want me to review next. I will try to do so. Thank you again for watching. See ya.